right, it's time for a Zinzao game. I will be playing this one against an Amumu here, which should be a good matchup for me, really. Don't, don't really have to worry about it too much. He does obviously have high amount of lockdown potential, but he is lacking Ultimate Hunter. Because he has the uh, Resolve secondary tree. Which does help a bit, because that Ultimate Hunter is definitely very sketchy. Uh, but yeah. Lanes wise here, range top laner, went cool even, that's kind of greedy, but fair enough. I, I think cannon is just going to per my shelf. I don't think I'm going to have much of an opportunity ganking top. I think bot lane is going to be a, a, like a heavy battle with this with this setup right there. So yeah, we're definitely going to go ahead and um, clear down. Our intention here is to just full clear, because in most cases for most people, I just recommend you to full clear. Obviously, if an opportunity arises, you can react to it, but again, most cases, full clearing will be worth. Because it's just consistent, it will always give you good value, you know. If you're gonna adapt to the full clearing, or like, adapt to not full clearing, then you're gonna have to instantly know a lot more, I guess, about what you're gonna plan on doing and how things are gonna work uh, to make it work. So that's why I wouldn't necessarily recommend it too much. Okay, my botland is already getting destroyed. <laughs> that's not great. That's a double kill for Yona. Yeah, flash used as well. Okay, I may have slowed myself down by just looking at that a little bit too much. That's okay. That was very fast, man. That was very fast. These these types of quick fights is not something you want to see as a jungler. Because if you barely even get through half your jungle and they're already dying, that's pretty scary. Alright, that's uh, going to be spicy. I do think the enemy botlin is going to be playing very aggressive constantly, so there might be some good opportunities for ganks with that, but it is still pretty sketchy. Try to put your W and E on cooldown before you Q, because every single hit with your Q will reduce the cooldown of the skill, or skills, so that definitely makes a difference. Okay, he just simply overextended, fair enough. It's already a lot of deaths. Pretty, like, full clear. Try it back into the bush here. I'm almost never going to invade me, but just a good habit. Get over the wall like this, and then we just clear the rest. By this time, by my, the, when the time I suppose he gets back to lane, uh, we can go for the gank. I don't think they would have flashes, so... Right here as well. It's going to... I hope that my pet doesn't AFK on me, basically. We're going for it. Let's go for this guy. I'm just gonna go for the guy, it's fine. Oh, this guy is committing to it too. Get the knock up and then W. Never W like randomly first if you can avoid it. Solid. Very nice double kill. We got there. Very good. I'm gonna recall actually here. He just hit the plant in this position, but I recall here and score like top side. I'm not gonna go bot scuttle fight because that's not gonna be too worth it. Do this. Perfect. Make sure I danger ping in the area. And then now this camp's gonna respawn in any second now. I might be able to look to go mid here as well, which I'm not too opposed against. He's probably going to run top this guy, I would imagine. Will he? Okay. He went for his Raptors there, I believe. Getting a knock up into the W is like a very good habit to have with Zin. As much as you can, of course. If you like have to snipe somebody, that is one thing. Um, but usually you wouldn't have to. Yeah, this guy is making things on top lane pretty sketchy for himself. He should really go take his time to ward right now. Because the Amumu isn't top side. I wouldn't have placed my ward there if it was him. I would have just placed it in this bush. Because that's the only direction Amumu can realistically come from without being seen. Unless he loops all the way back here. But that's never going to happen. Because he has to scuttle for a little bit, right? That's basically what I'm saying. There's the Amumu. Now he sees him a bit later than he usually would if he would have placed the ward here. Which forces him... Oh, he didn't even flash, actually. I thought he flashed there. Okay, no, he got away with it. Fair play. But that could force you to flash. 
Because if you have like the scuttle for a while, then there's no need to put the ward there, if that makes sense. For me right now, we're just looking to clear. We're looking to be consistent with our CS. Uh, make sure this, the Tiamat really helps with this as well. So we're just going to do this nicely. Get your skills on cooldown and then once your WE is on cooldown, you can do this. Okay, well, he just stuck around for a very long time on top lane, sadly. There we go. Yep. Ah, there's a ward here. That's unfortunate, actually. That's really unfortunate. This is going to hit me level 6, so I, I like to do this, but if this bush is warded, I'm kind of doomed. You're going to get the recall off. I got it. I hit level 6. Exhausted Poppy. That's kind of... Oh, wait, actually. I kind of inted there, my bad. My bad, my bad. I, I trolled Poppy there. That's 100% on me. I still got the double kill, but I trolled my Poppy completely there. Because I shouldn't have walked away like that. I thought like Poppy would disengage, but she committed. Which is a misread situation I had with my support. Like, this, the synergy between us wasn't there. And I just... Uh, I had the flash to make up for it. Please don't die in here, Ash. Like, you you actually just have heavy... Oh, okay, okay. Ash arrow. She has flash still. She just has to use it. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that was my bad completely. I did not actually think my poppy would commit, which is a mistake on my part, obviously. Uh, but, yeah. Oh, what is this? I mean, I can't contest this. Tom Ken's just randomly, like, rotated up here. Oh, no. Leave, please. No, don't greet for the turret. You an abs you're an absolute monster, buddy. You cannot be serious. <laughs> this man really just committed to that. That is wild. That is absolutely wild. He saw me get engaged on by them and then just decided to commit. That's crazy. I'm just going to snipe one real quick. If I snipe one with Tom Kench being up here, I'm actually quite in a favorable spot. He can get the other two, which is okay. Uh, but him getting the other two here is not really a concern for me because if I don't get it on this spawn rotation, which I wouldn't because the Tom is here for the advantage, um, yeah, then I can get the next three and still get the four spawn markers. So cheesing just one of those scuttles is pretty good for me. And so I can still get the spawn marker at four markers and I get the XP bonus from it, which is not too bad either. Right now, we're just going to go for another full clear, most likely. I'd say that I'm probably going to clear just my top side and recall for the Titanic because the Titanic is a big, big power spike. So I'm most likely going to end up doing that. He's not killing the, uh, the Void Grubs, which is interesting. Yeah, my cannon had complete lack of map awareness there, and uh, he overextended completely, which was maybe not ideal, but yeah, I guess it is what it is. Okay, the Titanic here, huge power spike. Now, why are we going Titanic first? It's, in my opinion, by far his best first item, because it builds out a Tiamat, which gives you more clear speed, which is nice. Uh, but it also... Oh, he never even did them in the first place. This Amumu just went bot lane. Uh, but it also gives you that auto attack reset, which instantly allows you to get, like, your third hit off. You can just auto attack Q and then you a Titanic Hydra proc into another hit. Like, you can surprise them with a double hit. And surprising them with a double hit is very good. Also, the skills very well. It's a very solid item for this. Oh, can this work? I just need to show my presence at this point. That's okay. He committed quite hard to that, and that's fine. I'm not going to over overcommit here because my bot lane is very, very low, so I will have to respect it. We're just going to clear the rest of the bot side camps. Good. I might have to rotate here. Get the hit off, and there we go. That's why we have the Titanic, right? That, that extra hit there is huge. There we go. And I would have waited there for the W again for the third hit. But that, that Titanic Hydra Pork hit there allowed me to get the knock-up where he wouldn't expect to be hit by the knock-up, which is, in, like, that's very, very valuable. It's 
good. My Ari played towards me, which is good. I, I always, in those situations, try to communicate towards my team what I'm doing, where I am at. So they can uh, adjust without having to look too much. Like, they can adjust to what is going on without having to, like, really observe too much. Let's try to go for this guy. Okay, we're going for this guy instead. You are already going to die because you fly backwards now. I don't have to greed for anything. I can just give that. It's completely fine. Good, good, good. Let's see if I can ask for some assistance on this dragon. Oh, Silas is not sticking around. Okay. I mean, if he's not doing Void Gobs, I'm okay with this situation. I don't mind it too much, honestly, because Void Gobs are technically better for him with his team comp. They, they definitely want to have more split priority, stuff like that. No, I don't... I, I'm okay with it, you know? Move through mid here. Both side camps are down. This is up. Top side camp situation is completely up. My team is pressing into top lane here as well. So we're going to look to go with my cannon here. Into the top side. That's maybe a, I should have. I, I was a literally just clicked smite there. I literally just did, but he got the smite just a second faster there. Does he get the reset? He does because the Mumu is trolling. Uh, let's just get over the wall here real quick. I guess I'll take another one. I don't know. They're not as valuable now anymore because they're never gonna get like a proper spawn anymore. But I'll just take one. I'm not gonna do more than one, I think, because I don't really care anymore. I technically could. It's not like not not like I. I'll just get the third one. I won't get the spawn marker anymore this game because it's gonna despawn before that happens. But uh, they're here. The timer for it is fairly reasonable for me. Not too bad. I should have W'd faster there, so I got more cooldown off it. Also, one thing to note, by the way, um, your ult. If you're put it on cooldown, you can also Q to lower your ult cooldown. So Q as much as possible when your ult's on cooldown. Uh, can I go top here? I probably can. I'm I'm running. Did he already die? Nah, he's fine. Okay. Oh, there's a Mumu here, I see. A Mumu ulted me. Flash there. I don't know what you really want from me here, to be honest, but... Okay, I see. A Mumu came and, yeah, Camille's shield is kind of annoying. Why are you back my... Okay, sure. Okay, let's do this. Got a bit of a heal. Half HP, half mana. Allows this to be doable. She'll never finish the turret here. What do you mean? The ignite is... Ah, oh, it's brutal. Okay. Could have played that maybe a bit better. She spaced me very well there, admittedly. Fair play, fair play. I don't really want to like overexert the fight here because I do have 3000 gold in my inventory. Uh, they're a very tanky team, so we're gonna go Cleaver next. If they're not that tanky, I go, uh, I go for Thundered Sky, but this is definitely tanky. Like tank here is also building very, very tanky here, right? Tank here. These champions are relatively durable, can build some armor items as well. Zonia is pretty easy. Death's Dance is pretty easy to build, stuff like that. So I think the Cleaver is definitely going to be very nice here. I could have killed the Camille there. I, I misplayed it slightly mechanically and I gave her the opportunity to space me. Which was obviously good for her, but kind of silly on my end. Whoa! Okay, she missed her charm a little bit too hard there. That sucks. See if I can get the sneak on this. Oh.
You need to. She doesn't have Ash, Ash ultimate. That sucks. Okay, I see. I can do this, smite it, and get my smite upgrade, and then maybe rotate bolt here. Should be able to loop around this way, right? Ah, uh, okay, fine. It's fine. I need to go mid here. I don't know if I make this. I think I can. Dude, can I click my buttons? What are you talking about? Holy moly, that looked weird as heck. All right, fair play. Threat's down, unlucky. That, I, mm, okay, I feel like I got a little scammed there. I don't know exactly what happened. I felt like one of my hits disappeared, but sure. This is maybe a bit scary, actually. This could end badly for me, technically, depending on what the enemy team does here. Got this, perfect, good. All right, not too bad. Obviously, I have to like rotate mid in that position to make sure my Ash doesn't get absolutely murked for no reason, like for no trade back, at least. I don't, did she die? I think she died, right? Pretty sure she died. Either way, two for one is never a bad thing. Even if she didn't die, if she didn't die, that's even better. Dragon, that's fine. I would never have been able to contest that dragon in my life. It just wouldn't have been possible. The uh, priority difference there on the map would have made that dragon absolutely impossible to go for. So that's why I did never even bother caring. I went for the Rift Herald, he went for the dragon, that's fine. It's just a trade here. Perfect. Yeah, he's dead now. He's obviously officially dead here. Yep, nice, good kill. Okay, we're losing the top turret here, most likely. That's definitely minus one top turret, unfortunately. Cannon just decided that defending that was never going to be his job, okay. <laughs> it's fine, I guess. Mid turret's going to go down here in a second, I think. Actually, probably not possible. Going to take bot scuttle, though. Ah, and Ari died, I see. <laughs> okay then. Okay, okay. Well, let's go uh, Starax next. I actually need to get boots here. I should get steel caps and then go for this. Build some HP. With this, we can build HP for the uh, hits as well. My, team. my my team's map play here is absolutely horrendous. <laughs> Their rotations are just costing us turrets. That's crazy. Wait, she made me miss it. Alright, I think I missed my uh, W, didn't I? I believe I did. That's okay. I don't know if that W actually hit. I think it missed. I don't actually reach him here. I do get the knockoff still. Okay, good. Just gonna Herald here. Force the Camille. Because we can definitely break their base turret now. I'm just gonna force the Camille to come here, basically. If she doesn't, then it's really bad for them. This is just a straight base push, very free. I'm gonna commit to hitting this turret, actually. I can, unless he's, I get smited here, but I... Oh, I did! Okay, yeah, fuck, rip, unlucky. Can I move, man? I literally am unable to... I'm not, like, I'm not allowed to move there. Yeah, that's good enough for me. Yeah, we overextended here big time. Leave! Let me die, please! What are you... Like, what are you doing? You just literally... 
<laughs> she, what she should have done, what she should have done but didn't, uh, was int herself into the Camille. That would have been the smart play. Because I was worth a big shutdown. But she didn't do that, so... It's just that simple. <laughs> I, I I understand like somewhat what he's thinking about, but he either instantly ints into the Camille and su uh, Sudokus himself and lets me get away, or I get hit by Camille ultimate and I'm just dead. It's it's there's no in between. I was expecting the Ash to hold the Camille a bit busier there, but that was not possible apparently. So, or it's Ash. I say Ari. Sorry. Um, so the Camille ended up being able to reset. I don't know if Ari died. I didn't pay too much attention to it, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, and we still got that base push. Uh, they, she does get a shutdown off me, which is definitely not good. But I'm, I'm not going to help you. Like, you're just dead. You just simply are overextending, Cannon. What? Okay, I, I guess I am the buffoon here. Lovely. <laughs> I actually, yeah. I thought the three-man collapse just insta GG. Like, what, what, are we, what am I going to do about that, you know? But that man just uh, proved me wrong. I am the buffoon here. Unlucky. Okay, I'll get this turret. I'm going to have to reset for it, but I'll go. Sadly, don't have the money for this. I wish I had, but I don't. Okay, uh, she shouldn't be able to get the turret. She's going to get a significant amount of damage on it, though, sadly. She did get the entire turret. That's crazy. Please tell me you at we at least catch the guy. Oh, you missed everything, Ari. Are you joking? You missed everything, Ari. How, man? I need to kill the Camille here. I have to. Uh, Jesus Christ. Are you serious, man? Holy moly. That sucks. That's really, 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 really bad for us. She, she also got the turret too. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Dude, if, like, the problem now is I don't think we can actually finish the bear. Yeah, we can't. Unlucky. That's crazy. That is actually and so sad. Damn. <laughs> Okay, well, I mean, Camille is getting some good split push value. That's really, really, really bad for us, honestly. Very bad. If Camille dies there, we can actually, like, kind of force a Baron pretty pre pretty easily, honestly. She is very scary side laner right now. But, yeah, obviously, this is a bit of a problem. I'm gonna get this red buff for the team first, and then we have to go. Just group on the Camille, make it free. That's kind of the idea that we have to go for here. At level 14. Current game state is definitely not ideal, actually. I wonder what this Camille is gonna do. Losing that top third really sucks. Uh, she is indeed going bot lane, okay. Uh, this is a good engage for us, actually. This is very nice. Is Camille just going to get the push here? There's no way, right? Please tell me Ari can clear a wave. Just clear the wave, Ari. It's not hard, please. Uh, she's going to get absolutely murked here, actually. This is bad. Wait, Poppy, why are you? Oh, no. You're kidding me, Ari. Ah, uh, Poppy should have recalled, though. Ah, uh, but this is not good. This is not good. 
That's, uh, yeah, our Camille, Camille just absolutely destroys our base. That's not, that's really bad. Okay, cool. I mean, I guess it's, we get Baron, but we lost quite a lot for it. That's crazy. I can bait this fight, I don't really mind. Dude, this Camilla is a, such a problem, holy moly. Like, I really have to try to, um, to focus on getting the Camille first when she split pushes, because my Ari cannot defend that. Like, not even close. So, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Do I, I don't need any magic resist, really. Not really. Let's just do this. Okay, well, I mean... I really, really have to kill this Camille first, because I cannot allow this level of split pushing to happen. I need some better team coordination. We have to, like, five-man the Camille and go from there. Are we gonna shove here? Camille's gonna backdoor us to the Narnia here, isn't she? This is gonna be such a sketchy one. I do not like this play at all. Ari's not gonna be able to defend it. She needs to do this. Kill the turn, please, 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 please. No, Ash, you son of a... That is so sad, actually. If Ash killed the turn, that would have been instant GG. Now it's a fight. Uh, can we win this? I think I'm tanky enough, actually. Okay, yeah, I am. Crazy. Oh, man, if... Okay, I won, I won, I won, I won. Holy moly, Ash. You needed to kill that turret just a bit faster there, buddy. That was so scary suddenly. All right, I won. I won. We got there. We got there. And that was it for Zin. Uh, last two items here would have been a Death's Dance and a... I'm honestly not 100% sure. Probably needed some magic resist. I think I just go for like a tanky magic resist item in the form of like Rukun or something. Because I have a lot of HP built already. I can also go Spirit Visits because Zin Zhao gets a lot of healing increase from the Spirit Visits, which is pretty good. But that's most likely what I would have opted for. Uh, however, that was it for Zin. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to the like button below. It helps me out quite a bit. Uh, be sure to subscribe as well if you haven't done so yet. And I will see you guys in the endgame stats. Alright, so for the endgame stats here, I ended up doing 34.1k uh, damage, which is actually the most. Just above the cannon there, definitely not bad. Uh, true damage at 1400. Objective damage at 43.1k, very good amount. Healing done, 30.7 thousand healing done. Damage taken at 43.2k, which is also the most. Self-mitigate another 37.7. So, I mean, I took by far the most damage from my team here while also doing the most damage, so that's very good. A gold earned at 14k. And then for the runes, Conqueror healed me for about 1200, but the adaptive damage is still more relevant. You just don't see that here. A triumph for the 3100 HP restored and 560 extra gold. Alacrity for the attack speed, because you don't need cooldown reduction on Zen Zhao, really, because you have the uh, path, like you have the Q hits, right? They like, do a lot of that work for you. Getting the hits out faster is better. Last stand for 845 extra damage in closer fights. Uh, we have Magical Footwear and then Cosmic Insight to combine with that. This lowers the active on the uh, Titanic Hydra a bit and gives you flash cooldown, which is very nice. Both of those smite cooldown as well, to be fair. Uh, but yeah, also works on Sterax too, obviously. So that's very good. Uh, Build-wise here, you're looking to rush Titanic Hydra pretty much always, or I would say always, I would recommend to. Uh, a lot of people build like Eclipse or even another item first. Um, I don't, like, I see a lot of people build Eclipse or Sunder Sky, I believe, first. I think that's the item I'm thinking of uh, for this, but I don't really agree with that because this gives you a lot more value. Uh, this gives you the third hit combo very easily. This gives you more clear speed consistency. 
Um, it scales well as well with HP. You can build a lot of HP based items, which is exactly what I'm doing here as well, of course. So you get a lot of value out of it on hits. You can get those hits in very quickly. Uh, so there is that. Following that up, you either go Cleaver or Sundered Sky, depending on if the enemy team is tanky or not. If the enemy team is very tanky, this was this this team I faced here was pretty damn durable, right? Amumu, Tom Kench, uh, their carries are not very squishy either, like very durable champions. So the value on Cleaver will be pretty high. If you're facing a full squish comp, you can just go Titanic into Sundered Sky instead, get the crit value from that, and just do more burst damage that way. Uh, then I would recommend going Sterex Turret pretty much always. It is a very good item to follow up that situation. And then following fourth, I usually end up going Death's Dance into Spirit Visage or Rukrin, something like that. You can also go like Wit's End if you need that even more tenacity. Um, the Force of Nature can be good against Burn Mage comps. You know, there is options. If you are facing a full AD comp, obviously, you can go like Guardian Angel at the end, get that damage in there. You can also go Random Ones or Frozen Heart or... Thorn mail, anything that works, just kind of adapt a little bit to that last slot. And usually speaking, at the very end, I'll sell the boots I have for a Warmox uh, to get a thousand extra HP in there and also get that HP regeneration out of fights, which is very valuable and that can uh, do very good numbers. The um, Warmox gives you enough movement speed compensation to be able to sell your boots and still be fine. Uh, so that's why I would do that. And uh, yeah, that is it for Zen. I hope you enjoyed this one. Be sure to hit the like button if you didn't do that just yet. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another one. Bye.